let's have a look at basic WordPress workflow because what we need to do is we need to look at the back end to work in but at the same time watch the front end this page to see our changes appear live on the web. Uh, I best demonstrate how that works. So you log in either by the by the meta widget or by by any other means that you feel comfortable with. And once you're in the back end, you have a handy link here which is usually this is your website title onto which you can click at any time to look at the front page. And then you will have seen that this widget on the bottom has changed from login to site admin. So if you click on that, then you go back into the back end and so forth. So this will always display your front end and this will always display your back end. Now I'm a big fan of having my front end and back end open in, in different tabs at all times. So what I usually do is I open the front end in a new tab and then all I need to do is have a look at the front end here and have a look at the back end here. This is my personally recommended workflow for, for WordPress. You can, you can even have several tabs for several aspects of your back end open here if you choose to do that. But I'll tell you why this is so important. Imagine, and don't try and follow and understand this, if I were to make a change, uh, say a drastic layout change, and I'm going to change the layout in my back end, my back end hasn't actually changed, but my front end will, will have done that. All I need to do is hit the refresh button, and then my front end looks completely different. That's my user experience. This is what a visitor sees. So whenever you do something to your WordPress backend, it goes live on the front end immediately. Again, let me demonstrate this. I'm activating another layout and I'm going back to the front end to refresh the page and it looks completely different one more time. Now, I'm going to talk about themes in much more detail much later. Uh, it's just important for you to understand that you need to, once you've made a change in your back end, you need to go back to your front end and refresh it so that you can see how this appears live. There's also a preview option that you can do this before things go live if you're not quite sure and if you have a lot of visitors to your site you, you may choose to preview a change before you actually make it live. But this is the basic workflow that we want to keep active at all times. I will tell you more about the dashboard and how to find your way around all these little knickknacks in the next workshop, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm.